you can tell by my setup, I'm not completely in front of the green screen like I usually am because I'm getting ready for cosplay tea time this weekend. We have a bunch of recordings to do, but I wanted to do a little quick video of what's going to be happening in May 2022 and why I'm not doing like a fully content uh, for April 2022. So, here we go. <laughs> and welcome back to this month's video. Uh, if you stumbled across here, welcome to the crazy and multiple things that I Jen like to do a lot. So yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, this month will not really be like a content video. Um, it's more of just like something that I'm preparing for uh, next month, which is the month of May in a couple days here. So we're gonna get right down into it. So uh, right now I'm studying for my exam. As you can tell, I have so many different projects going on, some new, some that I do need to complete. So, uh, but yes, so, uh, but one of those things, remember last year I posted like a quick little snippet video, find it over here somewhere, where uh, I was gonna be doing a mental wellness challenge for the month of May because May uh, is mental wellness uh, awareness month, mental health awareness month, there we go. That's the right lingo. I've been doing challenges for the past two years. <clears throat> um, started in 2020 when this whole thing going on in the world right now, it's still going on, believe me. Uh, so, you know, I decided to just go and do it. Um, started out the first couple of days feeling pretty good. You know, this was back in 2020. Some people were confused, like, what are you doing? Like, what does this mean? So I'm like trying to explain like, you know, I'm a mental health advocate. That's one of the things that I do. And in order to advocate, I need to be able to openly talk about this. So, uh, and then I did it last year. I kind of made my own, I think in 2020, I was like following like different little uh, experts and stuff and like seeing what they were doing each day. But then I just kind of made my own in a way. So there was that. This year, I will be partaking in the mental wellness challenge. If you've read my book, Normal, you've known um, I've grown up with anxiety, depression, eating disorder. Um, so mental health is super duper important for me and that's why I'm taking my national exam to become a marriage and family therapist so I can help families and individuals with their state of mental health. So I spent two years discovering what my mental health journey meant. It was a whole process going through and writing this out uh, during those two years, still doing this. So, but it helps, it helps in a way to do these challenges um, because we should be taking time out of our day to, you know, meditate for five minutes or, you know, go on a walk because, you know, doing something physical or doing something that helps relaxes the mind, you know, it does help, it does. There's research out there, I promise you. The one thing in the past two years that I'm going to be doing this year is I've noticed that when, you know, like your, your little mental wellness challenge prompts say things like, you know, exercise for 10 minutes, journal for five minutes, like having like a time stamp almost, kind of having <clears throat> that measurable piece really helped me instead of just like, go for a walk, meditate. It's like, how long do I do this for? Especially if it's something so new and I don't do every day, it kind of helps just start, you know, with those like small little baby steps, very small goals. Um, Cause you know, those build up over time. That is a guaranteed fact. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be making it more of an effort to just like have like timestamps. So, you know, it's like journal for 10 minutes, take a walk outside for 15 minutes. So that's something different with uh, the, mental wellness challenge prompts that I have created. You can see in the description below. You do usually do one every day. I'm gonna be trying to do one every single day. I had all written out on my calendar. It's all blocked off. It's in my phone, my home planner, like it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, something different is eyelashes. Just put on mascara. <laughs> so something a little bit different is um, I think in the past I've done like one or two like TikTok videos just to like raise awareness. I didn't do a video every day because I have like a timeline and a schedule like, you know, this day I post anime cosplay, you know, this day is only reserved for Ruby cracks and all this stuff. So, uh, but I want to post every single day because I, I think it's very important, again, mental health advocate to be talking about this and to be promoting mental health awareness. So. 
I'm thinking every single day, even though it's gonna mess up, hopefully not the algorithm, um, but just like my page and stuff, I'll figure it out later. If I have to post like one mental wellness video and then two cosplay videos, I'll do it. Like, y'all are just gonna have to bear with me. That's why I'm making this video to kind of warn people. So we shouldn't be warning people. We should all be doing this, but definitely in the month of May, I am all about advocating. And then there's the one day in October where it's mental wellness day, so. Yes, yeah, so every single day on my TikTok, I'll have the link down below. Uh, you know, I'll be doing, I'll be posting a video every single day. And what's not the bad part about it is, like, I have to wait until that day. It's not like, you know, some videos you can, like, kind of stockpile over time. Like, I probably have videos in my drafts from, like, January that I haven't posted yet. But with the mental wellness challenge, it's like, all right, either while I'm doing the challenge, like, as I'm journaling or coloring or something, like, that's when I'll be having to film myself, find the music, edit, you know, if I want to give like a reflection afterwards, I'll probably be more in the comments and descriptions of that video, so every single day on TikTok. And then what's nice about that is, uh, you know, Instagram and Facebook, they have the reels now. So what I'll do is uh, when I'm done posting that TikTok, you know, that video gets saved into my camera, yay! And then I'll post that to Instagram and Facebook to say, hey, this is what I did today. And then that's also too where I'll give my reflection and how I felt afterwards, what I felt during. Sometimes it seems silly for like, why am I wearing the color green on day one? Why am I creating a mantra? These are very important elements and just, again, the small steps so that way we can become so much more open about mental wellness and talking about it more. So what does that mean for YouTube? Uh, that means, so I've been, I was trying to think, and I think I mentioned this earlier, like was I gonna do like the first 15 days <clears throat> and then post those and then do like the last 15 days and post. I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna do it all in one, <laughs> all in one go, all 31 days plus intro, outro, and all that fun stuff. The only thing I worry about is copyright. Thankfully there is a software where you can like mute the video or you can add like different background music that's not copy strike. Thank you. <laughs> there's ways there's ways to go around it. It might not make sense, but again, if you check out my TikTok, you'll find the original audio. So a little disclaimer, I'll probably put in the video you know, to self watch this video before before uploading the other one. Uh yes, yeah, so all 31 days I'll have that ready to go. This shouldn't be super long. I mean nobody has a very good attention span unless it's something really meaningful, so Again, if you want to follow along, record, take photos, you know, help promote that. You know, if you just want to do it and then send me a photo and be like, I wore green today, or, you know, I talked to one person about mental health, like, that that means a lot to me. So I'd be very, very grateful. And I'm looking forward to seeing, like, you know, what people think and whatnot. So and we'll see if, you know, if this all goes well, maybe next year, try to grow it a bit more. I would love to have, like, a Zoom call, like, either after. I can't do it this year because there's just so much going on all good stuff all good stuff but there's so much going on so i mean there's always things to look forward to in the future yeah. future oriented therapist can you tell so yes with that um again just going to be posting mental health awareness videos uh towards the end of the month of may or early june i'll post the whole whole process of that so that you can be able to watch and hopefully everybody can speak up about their mental health. Maybe you don't have to write an autobiography about it. It was a journey to say the least, but you know, at least like going forward and talking more about it. So, and I don't know if y'all remember from last year, I wore the green ribbon and I plan on wearing it every single day. Even if I'm in the house, I still plan on wearing it. But this is to help uh, bring up the conversation of mental health because I don't think I wore it in 2020. I think it was 2021. And I remember like going out with my mom when we went uh, fabric shopping, when, you know, we'd go out to restaurants and stuff, or, you know, I'd go to the grocery store and I'd be wearing this and people were like, what is that? Like, what does that mean? And I'm like, I'm so glad you asked. So I'm gonna start the conversation with the green ribbon. Super, super excited. So yeah, join me, record videos, take photos, send me some photos, videos, whatever the case may be. I'm super, super grateful and excited that I need to talk about this so openly. And I feel like, you know, going forward, I think mental health has definitely become more prominent. Like just the other day, like seeing like a bunch of advertisements. And again, I don't know if there's just some force out there or just 
with like my algorithm maybe I just see more mental health stuff because that's what I'm always researching and looking up but you know there has been people out there that have become more open and spoken and I'm really grateful for people that share their stories because it's not easy this is not easy okay but very small very time you know measurable goals that's all it takes it's just one foot in front of the other with big steps Baby steps. You tell yourself anything besides your mantra that you create. Baby steps. So. And with that, I'm gonna go and conclude. So thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully you all enjoy the video at the end of the month. Um, I know I'll be grateful when that is all done. <laughs> Cause I don't know how I'm gonna upload those clips. My Google Drive is gonna hate me, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, yes. <laughs> so again, thank you all for watching. Catch me on Cosplay Tea Time. I feel like I'm there all the time. But yeah, just, um, you know, stay safe, wear your mask, you know, write something down that you're grateful for, something that you hope to achieve by the end of the month. It's good to have a goal. Maybe it's to feel less pressure. Maybe it's to get your story out. Maybe it's to, you know, talk with someone you haven't talked to in years. You know, whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> drink your water, take your meds, eat a snack. And as always, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Bye.